First, Manatee County is finding new ways to tackle homelessness. Yeah, the county wants to transform the old jail into a shelter to help get veterans off the streets and a place to stay. 10 Tampa Bay's Adoria Chumba has more on what county leaders are now planning. According to the plan, in about two years, this old jail building will become a transitional housing shelter for more than 100 homeless veterans in Manatee and Sarasota counties. It's, it's a plus for everybody, you know, for the community, uh, for the homeless people, uh, for people who are on the verge of being homeless. For several months now, father of two, Derek Fowler, has been homeless after he lost his job due to the pandemic. An Air Force veteran, he comes to the Turning Point Center to get help getting back on his feet. I've never had to sleep on the side of the road. Uh, you know, I had a friend that let me sleep on their couch. Uh, I had a friend that let me sleep uh, on, on their back patio. To help people while they seek stable housing, the Manatee County Board of Commissioners approved $15 million from the American Rescue Plan funds towards turning the abandoned jail into a shelter. Manatee County and Sarasota County, we only have one transitional housing program for veterans. We used to have two, we lost one down in Sarasota. The building has six floors, two of which will be for services and administration. There will be some individual rooms and pods for shelter residents, more than enough for the county's nearly 75 homeless veterans. Those that we've been trying to link with services over the last few years with different organizations within the community, now having a more central location for all those organizations to work. That is one piece of the puzzle that is definitely needed. Advocates for the homeless community of more than 600 say it's a positive step. When somebody's chronically homeless, 10 plus years, their chances of success without permanent support are very slim. So that's definitely another need in our community. I commend it. I, I applaud it. And, and, and I think it would be, it's a, it's a win-win for everybody. So $2 million from the funds will go toward the design process. County officials say that construction will likely begin within the next 8 to 12 months barring any supply chain issues.